Hey everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. Thanks so much for coming. I'm so glad you're here for the video. I love that you're here. And look, I finished my first full knee sock. Look how long it is. Now I have to get started working on the second one. Isn't it awesome? I love these. So I hope you have a super good time watching the video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you loved about it, okay? Thanks again. Bye. Hey, I can't forget to remind you to contact me if you see something you like at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And make sure to give me these four pieces of information, okay? The video name with the episode number. You'll see that right in the title. If it doesn't show the full title, just click on the title and you'll see it. Timestamps of when your pieces show. You get that by pressing the pause button. Timestamp is on the left. Brief description of the jewelry and the price is given, okay? Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it a lot. So back to our box, our bag of jewelry. Ooh, this is pretty. This has many different colors in it. Looks like carnelian agate, um, banded, maybe, I don't know. But it matches the beads, which is cool. And I'm seeing something written on here. So let's see what it says. It says hazel and harmony. Yeah, hazel and harmony. So not sure. The stretch is not awesome, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break. And the stone tests in the range of carnelian and that type of agate. Almost like where um, moonstone and those type of stones would test. So this is pretty. Let's see if this is magnetic. It is not. So I guess next we would need to know if this is sterling. Let me look on the sides and see if it's marked there. don't see any markings and I don't want to bother the piece so perhaps if you know that maker you'd know if that's sterling so I would say um, let's do six dollars on this lovely stone next is a silver tone necklace Lobster clasp, great condition, and it seems to be a pave rhinestone necklace. Oh, look at this bale. This is pretty, but I'm having to get it um, unstuck. I want to go very easy with that because, all right, let's see. It should hang like this. And then the heavier part at the top. So if I turn it carefully, oh boy. Okay, I'm so silly. So I gave it a little shake and it just went in place. So this is what we have. Crystal pave heart. The bale has crystals in it too. What I think to be faux pearls on a silver tone chain. There's the back. Very beautiful, has a long, um, uh-oh, there's like a little mark on here from something. It has a long uh, extender, so, hmm, there's a little tarnish right here, but that can be polished off. So let me see what the clasp says. No markings on the clasp. And let's see if I can polish that little spot up. If it's silver plated, it should come right off. This is a pretty piece. And it is polishing up very well. So that's good. But it's going to take a little bit more work. But it's better. So there we go with that. Um, is magnetic 
So we have a pretty costume piece, very glittery. Oh, it's missing a stone right there. You know, I think I saw a really like super sparkly stone in this bag too. So I think for now I'm gonna put it aside and hope to find that other stone. Um, I know I did, I know I saw a really sparkly stone. Okay, we have got a silver faux pearl bracelet, glass pearls, great stretch on it. And it has a little bit of a, I don't know, something flaking off right there. So that's going to have to go to craft. Okay, next, ooh, glass earrings. Look at that glass again, like a cat eye effect. That's a pretty one. Let's see if we have a second one. We sure do. Ooh, lovely, very lovely. Not sterling, but still beautiful. Wow, that's a gorgeous earring. Cat eye glass, we'll do a quick test, make sure you're glass. Yes, you are. And I'll say, let's do $7 on those. Gorge. Okay. Next is this. Oh, wow. So this is really fun. We have a clasp. It's looking kind of sterling to me. I want to be really careful. Yeah, that just needs fixed with like a plier. It's got to be bent in a little bit. So I'm going to leave it like that for now because I don't want to bend it. So let's see what we've got here on the clasp. Are you magnetic? Yes, you are slightly magnetic. And are you marked with any maker? No maker. But very interesting clasp already. And look at the beads. So this reminds me a lot of the Bakelite necklace I just had that was in red color, but I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Those feel cold. But then you come down here and look at these. These are heavy like glass. This is so pretty. Could be that someone took a clasp off of here because these beads are gold. And this is more of a silver tone, right? If it had a gold clasp on it and someone just wanted to make that money, they've been known to take the clasps off sometimes. Wow, it's just very dense quality glass. Oh, it's cool, very cool. The glass beads are not perfectly round. And we've got these gold tone beads. Oh my gosh, it's all hand knotted. And look at the filigree end caps. I think this is a very special piece. I wonder what these are. This one's gonna take a little bit of investigating. These are testing as glass. Oh, it's pretty. I just don't know what's going on with the clasp. And I'll probably have to test these beads because if it was a gold clasp, then the beads could be gold. So we'll see about that one. Okay, so I got my stuff out just in case to test for Bakelite on the smaller beads. I do think they are glass, but it just might be fun to see what would happen. So a little bit of Simichrome on a Q-tip. And you just take it to the bead and gently and if you get like a tobacco yellow, then it could be Bakelite. And I'm not seeing that. I did not see that on the red beads either, but red and black Bakelite don't always test with Simichrome. So that's why I had to go further with that red necklace that you saw a week ago. But this, I'm going to say, is probably glass, but beautiful glass, maybe like a check glass. It's heavier than usual, than usual glass. Oh my. 
I just think it's a special piece. I don't know how to price it. With those end caps and all of that. It's got to be older. Okay. Let me see. It's 26 inches. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm going to say 30 I'll do $30 on this, and you guys let me know what you think. There's a lot of qualities here that tell me it's an older piece. All hand knotted. Lovely glass. So interesting. And the end caps. Okay. That's the best we can do. Let's just say what we see. This is a cool bracelet. Gold tone, lobster clasp. A little bit of wear on that jump ring. What is this made of? Feels like glass. I don't think I've seen glass beaded bracelet. It is glass. That's very cool looking. It measures small. Let's see. This is a size. No, wait a minute. You gotta be careful of these links. So let's make sure we got all the links done properly. So we can measure it properly. How about this? Open it up. So I want you to be able to have just the right measurement and not have something not fit you. So a little bit of extra time. I'm sorry, but it's worth it for you all that need to know. There we go. So we have a six and three quarter bracelet black glass and black and cream glass on gold tone metal. That's cool. And I'll say $8 on that. <clears throat> Next we have a stretch bracelet. Very glittery. Um, silver tone. Feels like an older stretch. That's a nice looking piece, very romantic. There's some faceted glass in between. These are probably acrylic. Let's see if there's anything missing. Don't see anything missing. I'll say $4 on that. Okay, then it looks like we have a pendant all by itself. Art glass, quite beautiful. It has copper color in the glass and all kinds of greens and reds and things. Very sweet pendant. Very nice. I'll say $4 on that. And we have, this looks like one of those multi gemstones where we might have tiger's eye, maybe a citrine. How light? Let's see. The red one's test in glass. Tiger's eye goes quite up there. Come on, Miss Percy, don't give us an attitude with the shining off on the light. So here's the tiger's eye. Here's the orange bead. Goes right to where citrine would be or some type of dyed quartz. This is that white and green bead, quite different. It's testing around the glass. This is probably magnesite because the veining is brown rather than a gray. And that looks like lapis. And I would say it is. Lapis is a bit on the soft side, but you know, I'm not guaranteeing anything. I'm just letting you know. And this looks like amethyst. And then some kind of bead in the middle with something I can't really um, interpret. But you've got all these beads and then these maybe to put oils on. So you've got some gemstones there for sure. Great stretch. And I'll say five on that one. Oh, these are cute. Very cute. Silver tone, green cat eye beads. Cat eye glass. Oh, neat. Some of them are round and some of them are faceted. That is so adorable. Oh, I don't wear much green, 
but if these were sterling, <laughs> they're so pretty. I'm sure they're glass, they feel ice cold. They are all glass. And here's the other one. Super adorable danglies. Aren't they lovely? And I'll say, I gotta say eight on these. I mean, they're just pretty. Those are worth eight dollars. Nice. If you go to Target, I think you'd probably sp spend that on something that's pretty fake. Now, look at this. These are, oops. These are real pearls, and they're a purple color, and this is like a rose color on the bottom. And look how sparkly these beads are. They look to have an AB coating on them. Really pretty. I think the post might be marked sterling. They are definitely marked something. They have something written on them. So, let's see, maybe this one's easier to read. No, it's not. Okay. So, I'm going to say they're sterling because it's definitely marked. And those are real pearls and AB crystals. Gorgeous earrings. Purple and a rose color. All sterling. And I'll say... 16 on those. And of course I want to remember that that is sterling and then I'll check it. So I will say 925 but I won't put that little check on it. Not yet. Not till I test it. But I have no reason to doubt it. Okay, so that's that one. And, ooh, that is interesting. Look how romantic and lovely. Lever back, dark metal. Wow, that's pretty. And here's the other one. Oh, I can think of a lot of sets these would go with. So as usual, test them out first. Test for glass. I'm going to test for glass with that. This is a very satiny, faceted, just a cool glass. I wonder if that's some kind of special check glass. I hope Hannah pops in and can tell me about this one because there's different shades to it. It's really pretty. So everything is there. These are gorgeous. I'm going to say 12 on these all day. Okay. On the lever backs. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh, I can't stand how really cool these look. They look so 60s and so hip. They have a gold tone metal here. Faux tortoise shell or some kind of a, you know, amber color, smoky looking. And the posts are silver tone. So as usual, we will test. And they're slightly magnetic. But look at how cute these are. You see the, the little swirlies in there? So probably acrylic. And I'll say five on these. So sweet. Really pretty pieces in here. Ooh, that looks important. That looks like a real stone on a sterling wire. And let's see. Wow. Okay, looks like we're going to have some earrings to get through, and I really want to show you some other pieces. This looks like probably sterling and rock crystal. These are selling on eBay like hotcakes. I sold a couple of them, and they came back for the other ones. Okay, more glass beads. Seed bead bracelet. Okay, funky earring here. Oh, there's some cute things. I don't know if I can rush through. Just some cutie cuties. All right, let's go with these. Beautiful blue and green art glass. 
weave your backs again. Can't beat that because then you don't have to go look for an earring back. They are not magnetic. Let's see if I can find a mark for 925. Don't see one on this one. Check this one. And there are times where one is marked and not the other. Hmm. Might have to do a quick test on those. This necklace says, I'm like totally expecting it to say. If it doesn't, I'm going to be like a know-it-all nothing. Hmm. This necklace doesn't say, does it? It needs a cleaning, so I don't know if the mark is underneath the tarnish. But let me see first if it's rock crystal. That will tell me. Yeah, it's going way up there. So this is what I mean about how fun it is to start to be able to recognize things before I have to test them. So I recognize this is rock crystal. And when I test it with the machine, oops, I fell off of that one. Let me find a good one where this little tiny pin will not fall off of it. They go way up into the quartz range where they should. Sometimes they even go up into like jade spinel, but they are rock crystal when they go up that high. So that's cool. We'll test that. And then we have, looks like a pair of sea glass earrings. They are not magnetic. Let's find the other. Before we trouble ourselves, we need to make sure there's two. Here's the other one. It's a lighter color, though. Um, probably sea glass. Nice. So we've got those. Different shape, a little bit different color. Ooh, that's nice. And just looking for maybe what we might need to test for sterling all at once. We have these heart earrings with some pink rhinestones. They are not magnetic. These are. That, would, that surprises me. Because that looks like certainly like a stone on there. Okay. You hanging in with me? guys while I try to get through this bag so we can open a new one and I want to price these things for you too I'm just I'm not believing that that's not sterling I know it's magnetizing a little bit but just sometimes that can happen we'll test it this hmm this is interesting okay this is why I always put my magnet away oh Look like it might be gold, but look how fast it went to that. Okay. Not magnetic. Look at this dichroic glass. Is that stunning? Wow. And it's got that band of metal around. I love that. That is beautiful. And here's the other. And the wires are not magnetic. So we'll test those. We're getting quite the pile to test. This little bracelet has some glass beads, pretty feather, clasp is silver tone, measures seven, and then it's got an extender, is magnetic, I'll say two dollars on that, okay? That piece is done, and what are you? Okay, we have some kind of wine on earrings. That's wild. I have no idea what something like this would go for. And I'm not a wine drinker, although I don't mind a nice glass once in a while. Uh, it says Michael's Cabernet Sauvignon. 2006. 
So maybe it meant something to someone. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll say five. Five dollars on those. Okay, now we have... What are these? Look at these earrings. Beautiful abalone. Oh, wow. These look like they have onyx and these look important. Very important. Magnet. They are magnetic here where the abalone is. And the wires are... Come on, wire. Come on, we want to get moving. Hmm. I don't know. All I can do is see if they're marked. Hi, Bodhi. You can't photobomb me, okay? Here, let me do this part. Instead of the posts, I'm going to test this part for, um, for onyx. Let's see if that's onyx. They're in the glass range. In the glass range. I don't know what these long tubes would be. So it's not onyx, but it's nice black glass, really deep color. Crystals, just beautiful colors, I suppose. Very interesting earrings. So I'll say seven on these. Lots going on, very pretty. Nice earrings, and none of them had to wait for their mate. Wait for your mate, you know, you gotta wait for your mate. Here it is. Here's that stone. Didn't I tell you there was a really sparkly stone in this bag? That's a pretty good memory, folks. So that probably goes into here. Let's just see if it would fit. And that's the one. So I'm going to put this in a bag. And if someone loves it and they want to fix it, great. If not, that's okay. I will do so if I have the time. Or I'll just include it in our next um, in our next craft lot. But there's the stone. Oh wow, it's just almost staying there. Okay. If I put it in there, I'll have to just double check, but. All right, that's that one. Look at these. Look at that. That is so special. Crystally. The wires look sterling. Those little wires on the bottom do. So I don't know what to make of these older kind of acrylic um, beads, but they're beautiful. And I love this contrasting sort of bluish purple. Adorable. We'll test those. Then we have a necklace that is golden beads. Huh. It has seen better days. It's a three strand. Oh, that's pretty though, right? Uh, well, Nonetheless, I am going to put that in a craft jar. So stay tuned for the next episode. Oh, speaking of craft jar, I have to tell you all that in my last episode of Jewelry Jars, Craft Lots, and I think it said Flapper Necklaces, I think a lot of you thought that I was saying... It sounds like on the video, it sounds like I'm saying... For instance, I named this jar because when you guys put the names in the comments, I'll name the jars after the people you want me to name them after. But when I made this video and made these jars, these special jars with the stones and the sterling in them, I th it sounds like on the video that I'm saying that these jars are, are for a certain person, and they're not. They're just named for that person. 
So I ended up with these not selling, which was really strange. So if you wanted to go back to that video, jar two and three, these have sterling and they have gemstones in them and I made them special just for my channel. I sell these on eBay for $39.99 but in the jars for you guys, I put sterling and rhine and not rhinestones and genuine stones in them. So I made them special. And we've got jar number one, two, three. Yeah, jar number one, two, and three. And they didn't sell, which was really strange. So I think it sounded an awful lot like I was saying that these belong to someone. So I apologize for that type of wording but they are available. So let me know if you want jar one, two, or three with sterling and, and I keep saying rhinestones. Sterling and some real stones in them. $39.99, just like on eBay, but special for you guys. And I did that on that video several times. So some things didn't sell, like the Rachel craft jar for 20 didn't sell because it sounds like I'm saying this jar is for a certain person when I was actually saying, hey, I'm naming this because someone asked me to. So this is still available. $20 on that one. And the Megan craft jar, again, it sounded like I was saying it was for someone in particular, so I apologize. And same thing on Big Craft Bag Cajun for just 10 bucks. It sounded like I was saying it was for a certain person. So if you want to go back and look at that video and be able to see all of these pieces, I'll put a link to that video in the comment section because I found it really strange. These bags usually go so quickly. And Bag Raven, all wearable for 18 also sounded like I was saying it was for a particular person. So just thought I'd let you know that. And again, I'll put the link in the bottom of the, the in the comment section. Yeah. So a few more things. I think we're just going to have to just settle in for a long video tonight because it's just too much to just fly through, you know. Here's the other pink rhinestone earring that we're gonna test. Let's at least see if they're glass. Oh, they're going up above glass. That's cool. Then we've got these, oh wow, look at that. What could that be? First of all, they look brass. The wires look brass and they look old. Look at the detail on that. That's beautiful, really beautiful. Wow, so these are special. I think they're very special because the hooks as well. I bet you they'd shine up beautifully, but I wouldn't shine up this part. Not I wouldn't, but you know, you're welcome to do what you want, but that's so beautiful. Wow. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 12 for these. They're just stunning, really pretty. And very different. And for $12, again, what you would get at Target today wouldn't even compare, I think, anyway. Now, this is a pair of pierced with some fuzzy pom-poms. And they look pretty good. You know, they're not, they look like a little bit of dusting and they'd be fine. They're in pretty good shape. They do look older. I like how that's different, how it's made differently on the back. And I'll say $3 on those. We have a necklace in the bag. It is... What is that? Maybe that's the pendant. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, we are definitely not going to get out of here tonight if I have to untangle this. All right, it has lots of rhinestones. They are prong set. 
It has black hematite looking beads or hematite. Yes, it has a mesh chain, a book chain. Looks like a nice piece, but I don't have time to untangle it right now. So, and I wonder if this came undone. I'm just gonna say $2 on that. Let me know if someone wants it. Otherwise, I'll untangle it the next time. Then we've got a nice big ring that looks silver. And that's it for the bag, woo! I wish I could add that like hooray sound. Jen has been doing that lately on her videos, coffee, jewelry, and jokes. She's been putting in sounds and it's just great to see her adding all that stuff to her videos. I hope she can teach me and she will. She's willing to show me how to do it. She's very sweet like that. So we have gold tone, dangly earrings with looks like black enamel. And I will say $3 on these. Now we have these very interesting clip-ons, silver tone. Aw, oh, look at that. Those are all like sequins that look like a rose. And then all this little sort of chain danglies. Is there another one? Oh, there's only one? Did it get stuck in something else? Well, that's different. That's the first single earring. Aw, oh, that's a shame. You know what, though? This might really be something cute to hang from a necklace. So I'm going to say a dollar on this if someone wants to use it. And if no one buys it, I will use it. I will certainly use it. This, oh my gosh. Okay, this is definitely Melafiori glass. I think at its finest. Look at that tree. Look how tiny, tiny. Okay. This, oh my gosh. Okay, too beautiful for reality. Look at that. Oh, I hope I can get it for you. Look at the tiny tubes of glass that make up the grass. And the tree. And the excellent craftsmanship. This has to be on sterling. This is a beautiful pendant. It certainly is. It's on sterling. This is so beautiful. It says 925. And it says A like Apple, M like Mary, V like Victor. A, M, V. So I'm going to have to look up what that means and get back to you because I have plenty of sterling silver chains. That is beautiful. A, M, V. And it's 925. And it looks older. The quality, I'm just blown away. 925 in quotes. A, M, V. And that goes to the side to look into. Okay. I thought I saw one of these before. That's adorable. Maybe um, enamel. Magnetic. I'm only seeing one. Then we have, oh, two bracelets. So this, I'm not sure what this is made of. It doesn't look like glass. This is silver tone. It looks something like the other one we had. So I'll say a dollar on that. And if you need to know, it measures eight and a half inches. This is another art glass with copper colors and these beautiful blue beads. Pretty stunning. Wow, really beautiful. They are white inside. I think that means something. So we've got this piece. I'm not going to take the time to see if that sterling uncaps. It does not feel like it's going to break, but it's a little bit I think the stretch is okay. So for those, I'll say $5. Really, another beautiful set of beads. Okay, we have an earring back. That just probably goes to one of those pairs. And some things I just didn't get to, I wanted to get to. That's going to go to craft. We're going to test these earrings. And then I'll probably have to go, and I've got things to show you. So many things. 
So dichroic glass, these look older. Okay, um, inconspicuous place that does not bother the bead. Okay, that is dichroic glass. This one is, I know I do such a tiny spot, but that's because I don't like to bother the jewelry. This is that. Let's see. Let's do this necklace because it seems so important with all that crystal. And just it's an older one. Yeah, I think there's a 925 on it, but it's hard to see. So this will be the necklace. That end of it. This end of it. We know we do know it's rock crystal, but I don't I don't think it's sterling. Wow, that's different. Unless someone changed the class, but okay. So these two are the necklace. That's that earring, that's that earring. So we've got that. These look important because they are coming up as like cubic zirconia and a very high crystal, but we'll see. That's the pink one there. Could be a nothing burger, I don't know. And this one is this little stone. cute little things. So I'll put it there. And then these sea glass. These might be the only ones that end up sterling. These and these. These, I think we should check those. So I don't want to forget what's what. Okay, that goes to that one. That one. This goes to this one, and the necklace, and the earrings, okay. And then these earrings we will put over here, and I can tell those are not. Okay, let's see if I can keep it in order here. Let's do these first so we can know what's going on. So these are not. This is the dichroic glass. And those are, this is the blue glass, it's not, and the necklace we know is probably not. We know that's not, but I'll do it anyway. And then these sea glass earrings are. So that's blue and that's blue. So these are sterling and just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And I know these do go for a lot. Um, I'm going to say 20 on these. Stunning. And sterling. And I'm going to mark that. And the rest of them are not. Except for the sea glass. These are. You know what? I don't know that these are. Let me look closely. It's like it's not going anywhere. But I don't, I'm not going to say that's blue. I don't think so. Maybe they are like that, um, oh, what do you call it? Like aluminum. I think those are aluminum. Because look how they don't come off of the, the stone, how they're still staying there. So that is not sterling. So all these are not, which doesn't mean they're not beautiful. These are. So we put our tools aside. And we will mark that these are sterling with a check mark. So that I know. And you already know your price on this. So that goes those. Now these CZ pink hearts, they need a little cleaning. And I will say $4 on those. I'm sure they're silver plated or something, because they look nice. 
Then we have these little tiny stone earrings. They're adorable, but they did not come up as sterling. And I'll say four on those. Beautiful glass lever backs. And I'll say six on those. Lovely color would go with a lot, right? Then we have beach glass, probably aluminum wires, a little bit different shades. So I'll say $2 on these because it's just a little bit different color. These are so pretty. Oh, the purple crystal is very sparkly and I love the little tendrils. I mean, come on. That is so cute. So for these, I'm going to say I'll do nine dollars. I mean, they have to be older. Sweet. This is all rock crystal chips. Now the chain in between could be sterling. I don't know, but that's something that you can test on your own. But for the rock crystal necklace, we found that the clasp is not sterling. And the necklace is about 19, 20 inches nice cold crystal and I'll say 10 on that one okay I think we did everything I'm going to test that later now I'm going to share some of the special pieces with you so I hope you enjoy this first up I have a sterling silver tiger eye ring and it is a lovely vintage ring with a flower shape on the outside it is bezel set so a nice hefty band, and it is sterling. I did check it. And what else do I have to say about this one? It's got a lovely changing color. It's nice and dark on this side and then nice and light on that. So it is a size 7, but I'll show you on the ring sizer. Because I know for me, I have to see a ring on the ring sizer to know how it'll fit me. So it measures right at a size seven. The band is a little wide, so you might want to go a little bigger than your normal size. And so sterling silver tiger eye. It's pretty good weight of silver. I'll let you know what it weighs. It is eight grams exactly of sterling. Hope you can see that, there you go. So the sterling silver tiger's eye, size seven, Quite the pretty one and I'll say 29 on that okay next I have a Larimar ring with a stunning absolutely stunning stone so the Larimar stones they change so much as you go along some of the rings can be set beautifully but they can have a so-so kind of a stone and some of them can just look like a sky with clouds in it and it's just when you look up what the stone comes out of and how they cut it then you understand the colorings and why certain stones are better than others in my opinion this is one of the better ones I think it's a beautiful beautiful stone and I love the setting it's quite different it's of course sterling it's an older piece and look at how it's set with two little hearts on the bottom it's not cute so this is so lovely, fits me perfectly. I don't want to let it go, but I can't have all the Larimar. I'm going to hold on to this one for now. So there you go. It's quite beautiful. You're welcome to polish it, but I wouldn't polish it. I would leave that up to you. It's a nice, lightweight, easy to wear, gorgeous stone. From what I know, Larimar is not easy to find, and I'm not having an easy time finding them myself, so... This is about a size seven. It is a little bit, you know, needs to be rounded, but I don't want to mess with it too much. But I'd say it's definitely a seven. And it's quite a beautiful stone. And for this one, I'm going to say 65. Just a very precious piece. So 65 on this piece. Oh, that is what I wrote on there too. Okay, so that's that one. Now these... These rings, sometimes I buy them from a thrift store that has a machine and they scan the metal. So sometimes they sell a lot of sterling, not marked, 
but they know it's sterling because they have put it in that x-ray machine. Now these are both marked, but I'm just letting you know that sometimes the unmarked ones, I know they're sterling because I trust that place and their machine, and then I check them again. So next is the squid ring. It is quite the piece. It's certainly marked inside, and it's very adjustable. It's soft. I don't want to bend it too much, but it's a squid. If you like a squid, there's your ring. So it's sitting at a size 9, but you can put it really anywhere you want to. And it's just pretty cool looking. So for this one, I will say I'll do $15 on the squid, okay? And it's got all that texture on the top and tendrils, but it's nice and smooth on the bottom. And there's your signature in there. Now this one is just breathtaking. It's a big Larimar piece with, um, with um, oh my gosh, with turquoise on the sides. Look at this ring. It's Fab fabulous. It is signed inside. Let me remind myself what it says. 925 Thailand and then it has a NK. Now NK, what did that stand for? Oh, what did I find out? Larimar and turquoise. It's a size 5. You'd be surprised a ring this big is a size 5 has one turquoise missing here. So it needs someone to love it just as it is, or someone that can fix it and add a little piece there. But look at the Larimar, it's so beautiful. I wish I could wear it. I wouldn't mind that missing piece. I'd probably turn it in this way, maybe like this, you know, and then wear it on the pinky or Actually, if it was bigger, I'd wear it on the ring finger, but it's a it's a size five, so it's quite the stone. And NK, gosh, I don't know if I found out who the designer was, but there are some good ones out there. I just didn't write it down. Anyway, this one is 85, just for the size of the Larimar alone and all that sterling. And then you have this turquoise, beautiful. And just needs that right there. So 85, it's a hunka hunka. And it weighs 7.9 grams of sterling. And I'm gonna look again for who that maker is, but there's that one, okay? Beautiful ring. Then I have this one, sterling silver. Just a beautiful, dainty mother pearl, blackened in the background. I think they call it shadow boxing. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a bezel set, lovely mother pearl. Just so pretty. Nice small ring, like a nice lightweight. So just dainty and beautiful. I think it fits me perfectly right here. Isn't that nice? So gorgeous ring again. This might be one that's not signed because it's faded away and it's been scanned in their machine to be sterling and then I tested it as well. So I really trust this. And if you find any differently, you can always return it to me, but I don't sell things unless I'm sure. About a seven and a quarter. And I will say for that sweetie, I'll do $23 on that, okay? So that's it for these rings. I'm gonna put them all back in this bag and then I'll put them in little individual ones. So that's some of the special things I wanted to share. What is this? This is a note about something in there. Then I have a single, just a single sterling silver stud earring. I could probably see if I have another one somewhere, but this is what came with this lot. So I'm offering it here for 15 sterling silver back and the stud. And otherwise I could use that back for another pair of earrings, but it did come in that lot. So I just thought I'd share it. Okay, what other special pieces do I have? Um, hmm. I have this bracelet 
It's 925 Ross Simmons, and it is all emeralds. Now, no, not, not emeralds. It is um, sapphires, okay? Blue sapphire. So let me show you. So there's the gem tester, and it goes right up to sapphire. Now, I was reading and studying about sapphires today, and I hope I have the time to show you. Maybe I should show you all of these and that they test up there. But I'm sure you know I wouldn't sell you something that wasn't all tested. So they're all testing as sapphire. When I look at them very closely, they are all blue. However, I thought it was really cool that some of them have like a greenish color to them. And some have... Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope that's good. I loved just looking at these stones and looking at the variations in them. And then when I was reading my book about sapphires, I'll get to the place and um, show you what I mean. It says everything that I was saying about them, that they have these variations of colors in them, which was very, very cool. So let me find Okay, that. so in this book, there's so many writings about sapphire because it's such a special stone. But this is the book, Gemstones of the World, a couple of YouTubers had recommended this, and I bought the book. It's quite expensive for the book, but somehow I found it for a great price. And then when I got it, it's small. It's not the big book, so it's got tiny type, but I've made I've managed to make it through. Um, but you would want the bigger book for sure. But this is the page on Sapphire, and it says blue in various tones. Colorless, pink, orange, yellow, green, purple, black. The hardness is 9, which explains why it tests way up on the gem tester. And the name sapphire, Greek blue, used to be applied to various stones. In antiquity and as late as the Middle Ages, the name sapphire was understood to mean what it is today, described as lapis lazuli. And then it goes in to explain other things about the stone. Um, there's another page that I meant to hold my finger in, oh boy, that said that it came in all these different colors. I'll have to find it now. I lost it again. Okay. Is this it? It's not easy, folks. There's a lot of info, right? Come on, Sapphire, where'd you go? Okay, I found it. It says Sapphire number five, so they show it here, a little sample of it. And that's right, that's just what I'm seeing in the loop is this color and the variations thereof. It says dark blue, also colorless, pink, greenish, violet, color of streak white, so what it says basically is that sapphires are never a one, well, how can I say this? Yes, you can have a sapphire that's all the same color, but it's quite, I don't want to get myself in trouble. The variations of color in a sapphire are a natural thing. I wish I could read the part that explained all that. But I'm just learning, so I'm sharing with you what I'm learning. And my point is that seeing the different colors in these sapphires was kind of something that helped me to know that that was okay, that it wasn't a bad thing, that there were differing in colors in it. So that's what I'm trying to say. So can you see the different coloration in the one stone? from one stone to the next. It's just an exciting thing. I wish I could really show you clearly. So we've got this Ross Simmons bracelet. It's all sterling and it's covered in a gold wash. It has both clasp, safety clasp on each side. And let's see, it's a six and a half, I think. I'm trying to see what my writing is. It's a seven and a quarter. And, hmm, 
maybe my price is 65. So it's it's a seven and a quarter and the price is 65 because I looked up the comps and that is really good compared to some of the prices they're going for. So all sapphires, Ross Simmons, you've got the size and if you need the weight, it weighs 12 grams, okay? So I hope that was fun. Hope you enjoyed those special pieces that I have found in my bags of things to test and other things that I wanted to offer you. Now last is this, I think I'm just gonna show this because this is an oldie, this is an old bracelet. Look at the, oh my gosh, look at the metal work and how they feathered that out. Look at the bezel setting with the little sawtooth, but look at that turquoise. Okay, I just, I don't have words. I don't have words. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, is it just me? I think it's beautiful. I think it's so beautiful. So the problem is I can't wear a cuff, but I love it. I'm in love with that stone. So I don't know what I can let this go for. I think that's a, a really special turquoise. Probably an older bracelet. Don't see a mark anywhere. This is one of those that came from the thrift store that has that, I um, wish I could think of the name of the machine, but it x-rays the metal and found it to be sterling. And then of course I tested it and it's sterling. So I don't know what I have written there. Blue something turquoise, blue moon or something. It's beautiful, I wanna show it to you. I have no idea what I'd sell it for yet. I have to research a little more. It's a beautiful stone. So that one goes to the side for now. And what else? I did show you this. I think this is called dichroic glass. The dichroic glass definition is it changes color when you turn it. What a stunning, stunning thing. But what I love about this too is the soft link chain. I don't know what it is about that chain, but it's just, oh, I just love it. There's another necklace I found in this 45 pounds, and I haven't priced it yet because I just, I love it. And then it has these crystals on the end. It's marked 925, tested, of course. Beautiful double chain piece. It measures um, 18 inches. And, oh my gosh, it's just a stunner. And I'll say 45 on this one. Just, I think it's special. I really do. So there's that one. And I hope you enjoyed the special pieces. I have so much more. But I don't know that we have enough time. Um, another catch and release is this. I think this is an Ann Taylor. This is a charter club. And this is one of my bobblies. Oh, just listen to this. They're all glass pearls. It's so beautiful. Look at the gold tone on it. Perfect. Lovely, lovely. I really loved wearing this. It's, I want to say almost like a chain mail, but not quite. It's just such quality. I can't get over how beautiful of a color they are too. So they're all glass pearls. It measures 20 inches. Oh my gosh, it's harder to let things go than I thought. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just let these go. And I'm like, er, er, maybe I should erase this part of the video and not do this. Oh, but I got to do it. And you'll love it. You'll love it too. So, Vintage Charter Club, excellent condition. Absolutely stunning. And it's really heavy because it's beautiful. And I'm going to say 32 on this think it's worth it all day. I would pay that if I walked into a store. So there's that one. It's looking crazy, but all right, this one, I thought for sure that's a sterling chain. This was in my box of thing, or my bag of things to test for the metal. So no markings and tested to be sterling plated, but pretty nice plating and lots of wear left on it. So there you go with that chain, if that's something you like. 
looks like it'll give a lot of good wear. And it measures um, about 17, 18 inches silver plated. And I'll say 15 on that piece, okay? This is sterling silver. This I think is from our 45 pounds. It's marked on the clasp. It's on a snake chain. And this is 20 inches. So I like the length of this one. They're usually, you know, 18 inches or something, but let me just double check that it's 20. Yeah, it is. And it has this very sweet little sterling silver heart on as a pendant. It's a solid one. It's just cute. So a little bit longer than the usual 18 inch, which is nice. Snake chain, sterling silver necklace made in Italy with a little heart pendant. And I'll say we'll do 16 on that one. This necklace is not sterling, but it's got a nice chain, the older spring ring. And it's one of those ball bead chains, but it has a very lovely peacock pearl or a black pearl, I guess, on the end of it. So I thought I'd offer that. That's a sweet little thing. I think the chain is a little bit shorter, so maybe a choker type. It's 16 inches. For that little pearl, I'll say $7. And what else? Oh, we can't forget these. So these earrings, gosh, did I get them in this 45 pound box? I'm not sure, but I brought them in my room to research them because I noticed there was a little tag on the bottom and it had some writing on it. Hope you can see it there. And it says WK925. And I just thought, oh my gosh, Look how many beautiful stones. There's blue lace agate. When do you see that on earrings? Look at the banded agate here and the rose quartz with the inclusions in it. Beautiful. This one, I guess, rhodochrysophrase. That pink stone. Look at the, the host rock in there. Real pearls. I mean, I'm just going on and on, but blue lace agate in the smaller piece. Beautiful, beautiful earrings, and they're lever backs. I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Look at this. So you may already know that WK is Whitney Kelly. It's a big time brand. I can't find anything new, but they used to be on QVC. Uh, I can't find anything new as far as information on Whitney Kelly, but I certainly do see the jewelry, and it goes for quite a lot, a lot. So these are loaded with all kinds of beautiful stones. They've all been tested. Citrine, I mean, I already named them. Can you get any more beautiful? But the length of them is just a little too long on me, and I'm heartbroken because it's gorgeous. And right now I can get my hands on a matching bracelet too, I think, if I can win the bid. So if you love these and you buy them and you're interested in the bracelet, uh, I can, if the bidding's over and I want it, I can sell it to you or I can tell you where to bid yourself. But that's a Whitney Kelly pair of earrings. Oh, now I know why they're so expensive and beautiful. And, oh gosh, where's my price? Uh, look at this. Test them and keep them, right? Oh, I forgot to write down the price. Um, I'm going to say 85 And... I hope that's right because I forgot to write it down. So 85 on the Whitney Kelly loaded earrings. Okay, so thanks so much for that. And I think that's it for this video. I'm going to make my thumbnail. And I hope you enjoyed the extra pieces that I shared and the finishing off of our 45 pound box. Next time we're going to open a new bag. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you love some of these pieces and some of the ones that I'm catching and releasing. I sure hope you have a great time and you love them too. So thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Come on, thumbs up at the baubles. Bye.
Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you had a great time and I hope you'll come back and watch the next one. Don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified. I always have this clock behind me. I want to try to cover it so that it doesn't look like I have like a bump on my head or something. Anyway, I'm so glad you were here and we'll see you next time.